That morning we got up to continue drying the coffee and wash more coffee. And spread it well to dry it under the sun. That day I also began to learn the languages that I would like to speak one day. And because we were living in our coffee plantation without electricity, I had time. I was starting to use my flashcards to learn some words. And the first part of the vocabulary that I had to start first was the days of the week. In Japanese, Korean, Russian and the pinyin of the Mandarin Chinese. But then we saw that on the other side of the hill, there was a little bit of no. people do that to plant or grow corn and prepare the land or something like that. But my father was telling us that the person was doing that incorrectly, starting from the bottom, and that way it would get out of control or something like that. After an hour, we noticed that part of the trees were burning. And because up to down was the safest way, to do that. My father was telling us that many people cause these problems just because they want to do their job quickly. But then we saw other person in the forest on the other side doing the same thing. No! The trees that were burning belong to someone else and when this happens you have to paint the owners of the other trees. But then we noticed that he was controlling it. That's pretty good. And then my father was explaining to me how to know or see when the coffee is ready or dry. But I didn't understand. Then we started to make pancakes with my mom. And finally the coffee was ready. But because there was more coffee to continue drying, we put it in the place of the other one. After learning the days of the week in Japanese, I started with Korean. I was trying to memorize and work at the same time. While I was working, I tried to remember the words. Even while I was waiting for each pancake, I was writing, write the words and then put another pancake in the pen. And in the end, I made nine pancakes also caught in that pancake that was burned and that means that I had to write the vocabulary nine times and erase it and after that I finally felt like I could write the whole vocabulary again without turning or looking at the flashcards luckily my father had bought me that board before going to work there in Okobi plantation I had planned to use notebooks and paper but with that board I was able to erase as many times as I wanted and repeat each word without wasting so much paper. And then this happened to me. But it was because of the sun. Luckily, it stopped quickly. That's pretty good. I also used this, which helped me to know the correct pronunciation of Korean. Then, while I was walking to memorize, I found that red bean. My mom was telling me that she heard that people say that sometimes people use it to cast spells or wish bad luck on people or something like that. But we don't believe in those things and we thought that it was there for other reasons or, or some people leave it there, I don't know. Then I started practicing the days of the week in Russian. Music in Russian made me want to learn this language when I was studying at a boarding school years ago. Then this little girl was visiting us again and asking for the favor of charging her mother's cell phone again. 
We sent her the rest of pancakes for her and her family. Walk sometimes while I try to memorize something. I feel that it helps me to not stress or just make some exercise to not get bored when I'm sitting. And then finally I learned the days of the week in Mandarin Chinese because it was just using only the pinyin script. I knew that the pronunciation of Mandarin was difficult or other languages were difficult but I knew that later I would look up the pronunciations on the internet in the house in my town, you know, where there's electricity. That's pretty good. Then my parents took us to buy in a place some things like bread and things to eat That's pretty good. because it's difficult to find stores in that place. That's why we had to travel 30 minutes, I think, to a place where there are some small stores. And in all that houses live people who work like us harvesting coffee. People call that place the edge of the bridge, but there's not a bridge there. <laughs> and there are many people who live in their coffee plantation like us without electricity, but now most of them use small solar panels. I was very happy for the words that I learned that day, but it was getting closer that day to go back to our house in the town. 